I think Johnny Depp is one of the key people in Hunter S. Thompson's kind of like how they how they end up doing his kind of funeral, which was putting his ashes into fireworks and launching them. Really, I, I know. That's uh, that's what my roommate's doing with her with her mother. Actually, they're going to put her ashes in fireworks and have a huge display. Cool. I, I, ho- I hope the winds are blowing away from them, or else that will be terrible. <laughs> right? Don't want to <laughs> suck in a bunch of. Yeah. I, th- I think when you're packing, a- I think when you're packing ashes with, I think it's like anything packed with gunpowder. Like the gunpowder will overtake anything, and the explosion itself, it's like nothing's going to come to you. Yeah. I, I do so. know that uh, Hunter S. Thompson was like on the set of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, like making sure that Johnny Depp looked the, as much the part as possible. So and that's a pretty like good a job, Thompson right? <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, like actually like shaving his head and stuff to have like Hunter S. Thompson's, you know, bald guy cul de sac. Bald guy cul de sac? Yeah, you know, it goes in. <laughs> and I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. It's a perfect, <laughs> yeah, phrase for. I was always amazed to learn just how into NFL football that man was. I am really that's surprising. Huge. I had no idea. Bad fan of yeah. the NFL. Like, Honest to God, he he kind of lived and died through the NFL season. In fact, one of the last messages he wrote was how he was so depressed because that NFL season had just ended. Huh. Wow. Well, well, who was his team? You know what? I don't remember. I just knew he always enjoyed just talking and writing about NFL towards the end. He was all the team. He didn't care who. He just loved NFL. Any and every team. Yeah. He, was. I mean, he just loved the as a whole. Like you like? <laughs> well, hold on a second before I get started. Um, apparently, I have misplaced my pencil that I was literally just f- screwing about with. Poor shame. Yeah, I swear. I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed onto my neck. With both? Hey, oh, there you. it is. <clears throat> Turns out I was, I had my foot was on it. Hmm. What's the weather doing out there, Sam? Yeah, it's really pretty. I'm sorry. I just really, it's really nice. Like it's got like this kind of like mm-hmm. yellow yellowy glow. It just, I don't know, it's really, really pleasant looking. Nice. Yeah, it was raining like super hard not too long ago. Yeah, now it's got like a like a dusk glow. Like mm-hmm. uh, very pretty. I, I, okay. I, I, I love uh, this note. <laughs> all right. To answer the hunter's <laughs> question, it seems to jump between the Oakland Raiders, the San Francisco 49ers, and the Colts. <laughs> okay, all right. That's, that's uh, the, a little all over the place. But... The Colts and the 49ers seemed to be if teams he liked because he had friends that played for them. And okay. the Raiders seemed to be the team he just supported before he was anything. That's what hmm. I just figured out there. Okay. That's... I... I love that's looking at my, at life, my notepad. Right? It's just like, yeah. you know, <clears throat> it's like the number two, you know, a master chief in my unit. Give Jeb the plus two. Uh, snow flame the skunk ape <laughs> a bunch of little tick marks <laughs> grocery list snow flame the skunk ape again yeah. <laughs> it's a drawing Very of good snow game. flame and me holding so hands good. with a heart around it perfect <clears throat> so who wants to give a one a no less than i mean a no no less than a minute no more than a minute summation <laughs> Boy, I can do it because boy, this this is quick. <laughs> okay, all right, you go, ahead, can go for it. Y'all ready for this? We yeah. planned an infiltration. We like sat in the woods. We nearly got caught sitting in the woods. Jeb and Jeb and Frank watched the show happening. Next day, infiltration happened. We got in there. Barrel watched the door. Uh, Jeb was like on point doing distractions. I think Frank just like acted like he belonged there, making sure no one got too close to anything. He's just like, just like a dad. <laughs> Meanwhile, Peter got in there. He found a really cobbled together alternate dimension church with a bunch mm-hmm. of plugins and a Donald Duck drawing cell. And he got really scared for some reason. And then he, that's what they learned and they left. I still let the cat in. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, oh my lord, Sarah. Cats. And then the cat came oh, back. Cat. <laughs> the cat came back. <laughs> the cat came back the very next day. The Look cat came back. Majestic, beautiful beast. You're too, you're too young to know that song. Sorry about that. Sam. Huh? You're too young to know that. The cat came back. 
the very next day, the cat came back. They thought he was, was a goner, but the cat, but the cat came, came back. Yeah, too young. Just wouldn't just stay. Just or... stay okay. okay, so... Don't worry, Sam. They sound crazy to me, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, that's because you didn't have Nickelodeon growing up, Garrett. Okay, so back in the day, Nickelodeon would air, like, before they really had, like, the programming you think, they'd just air whatever the hell, as long as it was mostly aimed Random at Random shorts. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and they they had they aired a bunch of like short cartoons from Canada, and um, yeah, that was one. It was just it, it started off as like this novelty song called the the cat came back. It was like this old man that found a stray cat and kept trying to get rid of it, but the cat kept coming back, and they animated around it. It's cute. It's it's, it's very really Canadian. <laughs> hmm. uh, apparently, okay. the cat was, he was Canada, a very naughty cat. He was like scratching up the you know the curtains and things, and that's why the dude is like, no, fuck this cat. But yeah. sorry. Okay. That cat's just there. So they ended with animal control capturing it, and then you. Oh, <laughs> like it was th that's that's that. apparently right. one of those things when you uh, when you try and get your Canadian citizenship as a foreign national, uh, you have to uh, you have to be able to sing that song. Along with and, and it's a tiring, perfectly on pitch <laughs> while doing the dance that they never showed in the show, but all Canadians know. <laughs> it's just it's a Canadian thing. Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, that, Garrett, that's that's correct. That is very correct. Um, all those things happened. So, um, yeah, we're going to say before we skip ahead and everybody gets the, uh, you know, some of their willpower back, um, we'll do a quick little meetup. Um, we'll say, you know, you guys are all, you know, teleconferencing over, uh, you know, FaceTime or something. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty much Frank, uh, you know, he wanted to get everybody together and he's still trying to figure out his phone, but he's like, Hey, um, so What's the plan, guys? Like, um, you know, now that we know all this stuff, I mean, what what do we got? Uh... Well, it, it raises more questions, honestly, you know, in, in a Tell way. Like... like, Peter finding a crazy alternate dimension church. Well, yeah, like, maybe like... maybe the skunk apes are tied to all of this, like for real. Well, I'd, I'd say they there have to be if, if if the Donald Duck drawing was was on the altar, and then the skunk Age would bring a bunch of Donald Duck stuff to, you know, their altar. You know, then I feel like there's you know, it's almost directly related. So, like, where or maybe even when is this church? You know, you know, what 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 significance is this church? Why is it there? I, 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 the, 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 and you notice that Peter is not like you, th the camera's facing like where you know his kitchenette is in his apartment. So you mm -hmm. can tell the cat, he has the camera facing the other way and not towards him. But all you hear is his voice just, I, 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 the church may be in an alternate dimension. I've been doing some reading. Uh, let me show mm -hmm. you this book. And the camera suddenly focuses on the couch where there's nothing. <laughs> and, uh, I believe like I've been reading kind of like, this and this and you know Peter, I, I'm leaning Peter, towards Peter, Peter the, the, the camera's the wrong direction. I can't we can't see anything, buddy. <laughs> can you, can oh, you flip it on. around? Yeah, okay, <laughs> no. And he just literally flips the physical phone around. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. That works. All right. That works. Yeah. yeah oh, perfectly. Good. Yeah. good. Yes. Um. So so alternate dimension. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So mm. so why is it that why does it exist? You know why why does a preacher have access to it? And what significance does it play? Well, how does it? What, what what cog is it in this machine? Well, it has to have something to do with the Skunk Ape Temple, I would think, and also why he comes here every time that he comes here it has to have something to do with both his powers and and potentially his family. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and furthermore, like why were they why were they snooping around at your place, uh, Peter? I, well, I'm sure they were very curious why the local expert on these things in this area wasn't digging deeper. Uh, I'm sure but, the way you say that. They were looking yeah, for information as to why I wasn't as cu more curious about this. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I, it it seems sure kind of like they'd true. come by your shop during, you know, opened hours and ask you instead of snooping around in your place. I, I, maybe Snowflame told them about me? <laughs> Has Snowflame asked about me yet? Wait, so, yeah. So, Are you like, going to make I mean, Snowflame Pe lasagna? I mean, P Peter, you were, huh? you were around him a lot more than the rest of us. Did, did, did they, did they talk? 
Okay, look, I'm not very good at doing this. I, I've, I've kind of taken this as far as I can. Um, I may have dropped a business card where Aaron. someone okay. may have found it. I'm so sorry, guys. It's, you don't. I, why did you twist yourself in knots trying to not tell us this? Like, this is not. No one was going to beat you up about it. You know that, right? Like, I mean, I did hey, speak for yourself, oh, Beryl. <laughs> Peter, I'm coming over there right now. You going to go no, kick I'm his ass? Messing with you, Peter. Right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just messing. I mean, it happens. I, I, it happens. I, I mean, you got you got roughed up. That's the, that's the worst that happened. Yeah. And thank God that's the worst that happened, you know? Right. I just didn't want to feel like I was the weak link among us all here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, goodness. No, no, no brother. No, no, that's, no. That's, that's okay. Peter. It, you just dropped a car. That, that's an easy thing. Common thing here. Yeah. You, you didn't know that it, like, these, these kids who work for this creepy pastor were going to come and, like, rough you up. Like, how could you know that? There was no way. So... Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you all for that. But that's that. Yeah, that's why they showed up, and why, why potentially I'm now, uh, as you've told me, Jeb, why they they want to know more about me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it, it, does, it doesn't help that you know you are the expert of skunk apes, and skunk apes is directly what we're dealing with. So you know they, yeah, yeah it just got compounded. Cool. But it's fine. You know, we're we're gonna handle it just okay. They don't suspect you uh, any further than what they already do. So we're all right. We can deal with it. So, so are you going to feed piggy- him some just like nothing information? Yeah, Jeff? that's actually something I was going to say to piggyback off of that. What's what are we going to do with that now that we're kind of sworn into, you know, having him set up a little bit of shop in town and you're having to spy on Peter? Well, yeah, I mean, I I, I think we're uh, in a good position, whereas the, the pastor seems to trust me to a degree. Um, so mm-hmm. I think, you know, I can I can maybe put a bug in his ear. Um you know, or dispel some stuff, uh, even some, some minor stuff. I don't think I'm that good with them yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. I it had to come up naturally, I think, for, for me to to talk about Peter because I've just, you know, I don't know. I, I guess we should figure out how to throw him off Peter's scent, really, uh, <laughs> is what I'm getting at. Um, mm-hmm. we, need, we need to create some sort of believable um, story, you know, that I checked him out. Um, but he doesn't seem like anything, you know, to, to, to be concerned with. Um, well, I mean, if you want that, I can do some things on my end. I can set up some obvious, just horrible pictures, like me posing next to the skin suit I have on display, yeah. giving a, a thumbs up, and you can talk about how I just find weird stuff at, like, bazaars and flea markets and take whatever I can and make up stories. Um, you can I, talk I, about the, the wolf busters. Exhibit, yeah, yeah. which I mean, no, a lot I, of people I, don't know I, are a real thing. Display. I yeah. believe that display is very well made. I I do too, and and I'm not trying to critique it. It's just that people who don't know, like basically, they don't know what they don't know, right? So, like, mm-hmm. if people aren't in the know, I think it would be easy for them to sort of look at that and go, "That's silly," right? So, right. so for this past who who probably doesn't necessarily know about werewolves as far as we know anyway right it sounds like the werewolves tend to be away from religious stuff so i'm guessing they haven't really crossed paths so um that's something we can point to as something that he's less likely to believe right yeah, so, I, th- I think you're on the right track bro i think and, and peter and no way does this reflect my actual feelings towards you but i think we should we should we should paint you as kind of like a loony you know, so just be like, yeah, th- this dude likes anything that even kind of remotely smells cryptic, or you know, he'll believe just about anything. And he collects it all, collects it all in his his hosh podge museum, which is borderline. We could we could do a museum which looks like almost like a, a hoarder's den, you know, or just he's kind of crazy. Just oh, well, just, re- just move that curtain I have to the far. <laughs> <part. laughs> yeah, just just draw back the blinds. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's what we should do is I'll, I'll investigate you and my mm-hmm. investigation will result in you, you becoming, you know, you being a, you're just a non-concern. <laughs> you just a wackadoodle dude that has a bunch of fake, you know, paraphernalia, you know, whatever. So pictures. if there's a possibility that these kids are keeping tabs on Peter, that means that we probably should not be meeting mm-hmm. at the, the, the museum. Right, mm-hmm. so Sarah. There's there's getting... something behind you, real quick. Sorry to break you. It's it's, it's, it's oh. hailing Satan. 
It's creating, <laughs> it's creating the pentagram. <laughs> By the, the cat is uh, licking her butt there? Yeah. Yeah, it <laughs> creates a okay. point star. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Do, yeah. do go on. Sorry. Um, Boy, that broke the tension. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, no, I was just saying that, yeah, we shouldn't meet at the museum. I, I would think. Yeah, right? I, I can't be, I can't be seen. You, especially. Right. I, I, I mean, I, I, we all live at the same apartment complex? Yeah, so yeah, that's I mean, uh I mean except you Franklin, you you live in your home out there, but Yeah, but that's what I'm I was just thinking though, like I'm like I usually say I'm just kind of spitballing here, but what if uh what if Pastor Freddy's people, you know, follow you home and then see, you know, my boy and I don't think they I don't think they got barrel tied into anything whatsoever. <clears throat> Well, yeah, but, you know, that, I mean, that's it just well, seems like uh, we'd have to really, really tiptoe around right now. Well, I, really I, I think just fa FaceTime, me, yeah. me, me and Peter only FaceTime. I mean, I think I should go to his 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 museum once <clears throat> to, <clears throat> to check it out to go. Yeah. But I don't think I should be meeting with Peter. Nothing after <clears throat> hours. I mean, I think Peter, unfortunately, we're only going to see each other through a screen for the foreseeable future. Well, I mean, if that's necessity, we do have text messages and whatnot. I, I think we can do this. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the way to go. Um, also, halfway through this conversation we've all been having, somehow the camera switched back, so it's now again <laughs> facing the kitchen area. Like, <laughs> but Peter's still holding it the way he was <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Oh, oh goodness! So, um, so there's a there's another thing I was kind of thinking on. Um, Kit Revival is going to pack up shop and leave in like two weeks. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen if we don't like figure out what's going on? Well, that's the thing. It, 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 what happens if we do? What happens if we don't? I mean. It seems like he comes back every so often. I mean, nothing terrible's happened. So what? What really is the end game here for him? You know, is it something terrible that we just don't even know what's going on, but it's still happening, or is it you know just and obviously something mischievous? Um, mm -hmm. So I guess to answer your question, we got to figure a game plan out that can be executed within the next two weeks. You know, so I, I mean, I agree. It seems like the the consequences could be very unknown. We, we don't know what happens when he leaves or any such when thing. He goes. Yeah, when he would come back. Um, so when are you supposed to be, when is he supposed to be coming to, to y'all's um, store? Um, we, didn't, we didn't put out a... a, a, a um, I was like, <laughs> the mind of the GM. Uh, we're going <laughs> to say he put out, like, um, he's going to, like, he did say he was going to get in touch with you later that week, or rather, okay, so you, you assume maybe in the next couple of days. Yeah, so he's going to come out and meet me at O'Neill's, you know, and just check it out, or is he going to send, he's going to send some of his people? <clears throat> one or the other, one or the other. Okay. Um, yeah, the GM, the GM has not decided yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think he or I think he said some of his uh, his followers are going to come out to the store at some point um, here pretty soon, next few days, uh, check okay. the check the store out, and then go you know, get a game plan in. Um, I think it'd be advantageous for me to go ahead and like give him some information on Peter, um, okay. you know, pretty soon around and later, because I think it'd be suspicious if a week goes by and like, oh, I just found out he lives in the same apartment building as me. Oh, yeah. how strange. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'll, 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 I don't know, give him a call, figure out somehow to, to, to relay some, some information, start feeding him something here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm still lost as to how to connect the uh, the, the church to the, the altar, though. That, that, one's, that one's a tough one. Well, uh, that might be where I come in. I am far more interested in the uh, occult side of these things. Uh, spending a bit of this week out there back at the Skunk Ape Temple might be uh, what I need to do. I seem to have made a, a solid contact with one of the Skunk Apes. Maybe I can make a better contact with any of them. The last time they did trap you inside a house, I don't feel so it is though. It is, and it is kind of risky. I mean, not to not to make you feel bad, Peter, but you know, maybe make sure that you leave your business cards and 
driver's licenses, things like that in your in your car. Yes, yes. I'll, uh, mm. I'll make sure those things stay behind, Franklin. Thank you. Well, even more so, I mean... I, I don't I, think you needed that reminder, but... <laughs> well, I got a sneaking, sneaking suspicion that uh, our pastor man uh, has maybe even visited this kind of case himself in person. So you... I, and you if might so, run maybe, into him. maybe I could catch him in the act. I mean, I've, I've yet to meet this man, and I mean... Is he going to send more kids to beat me up? I he can be he can be any of our asses himself, right? That dude's huge. Yeah, he is yeah. large. Just sort of by by you know virtue of his size, I think he could take any of us. Yeah, he's <laughs> harder on any of us. Yeah, he's a he's he's a pretty big old boy. Um, <laughs> seems seems like at least two of us would have to take him on. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying I, don't come to that, but I'm saying I feel my time for the next few days will at least be better spent trying to make a better connection with our skunk ape brethren and sistering. Brethren, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I determine the gender of them. You see, that's why I want to be very open-minded, inclusive. Yes. Okay, thank you, Beryl. Well, okay. maybe they don't go by, by by common pronouns. Maybe they're they're just they. <laughs> so we have no idea we don't know it's if, like, if skunk ape have it's, a... like, it's like come on peter be a little progressive <laughs> <laughs> Try <to> <laughs> oh. okay well, um, all right well, i guess that just kind of leaves me in no, they they're in they they're in yeah <laughs> skunk apering skunk apering <laughs> Okay, so I guess that just kind of um, that leaves me in barrel with stuff to do. Mm-hmm. I, and I don't really know what. <laughs> well, the good we here's the, here's the here's here's what I was thinking, Barrel. I mean, the good news okay. is that they we me and you are invisible to these people right now. That's like true. Peter's on their bad side, and mm-hmm. you know, Jeb he's on their good side right now. Mm-hmm. So that just leaves me and you. Like <laughs> we're off the radar. Yeah, we're all, we're completely off the radar right now. All right. Um seems I mean, like, do we... I mean it seems like we could maybe I don't know, maybe um do a little bit of like individual research, that kind of thing. Okay. Maybe look into because I mean there there still seems to be a there still seem to be a lot of missing pieces. Like, I mean, I'm sure there's something we could kind of dig up. Like, I mean, because I, mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, like we, we know these kind of, these kinds of revivals, you know, they, they pop up every now and again. Mm-hmm. We know it's supernatural in nature, but like mm-hmm. we can't really like pinpoint any of that down. Yeah, do you think it's worth mm-hmm. it to hit up some of the, uh, the older folk in town that you know and maybe, you know, pick their brain for for for? people of uh, the Thomas last name and know anything about them, you know, maybe, maybe there's some old folk that, that, that know something. Uh, I might be able to, I might be able to hit up some people. I got, I got a couple of people. I got a couple of people. I might be able to think of what's up, Beryl. I was wondering, like, um, just don't all have like a, like a local history museum. Like I know that like, Fan and well, it's called Stargate right? migration. <laughs> no, no, but like there used to be. In downtown Blue Ridge, yeah, mo- like most local. most towns, okay. yeah, we'll say it does. Most towns have like a historical society. Yeah, so maybe we can. They they might have some info on the Thomases and or the sort of like, you know, maybe cryptid, but you know, it, we're, they're gonna say it's like folklore stuff, right? That people saw creepy stuff in the woods, and see if we can, um, get more info on that. Uh, okay. that and like. If if that sort of if we run that dry, I mean, we could always try to keep an eye out for um, uh, old Pastor Freddy's um, his his folks and see what they're up to in town. Or the, the, his folks, like his parents that died in like the fifties. No, no, I mean like oh. no, the, the folks who work for him, like these fucking oh, you know rowdy oh, teens congrega- and his congregation. Yeah, his that, congregation. That's actually- my brain was just going. I just had an epiphany. So, so, Beryl, you being the charismatic gal that you are, maybe you can get one of those, you know, you know, teens and kind of, you know, 
talk to them and maybe get them to uh, give up some of the, the details that outsiders don't get to know. There's a boy there. Uh, what was his name? Bobby? Robert? Robertson? So I don't know. He, he's a newcomer there. I haven't seen him before. Um, maybe you could talk to him and uh, charm him to get to him uh, to tell you some, you know, maybe some information that, that we, we don't get to know. Um, uh, or, or any of them. There's that, okay. that Jamil fella. Um, there's mm -hmm. that, that, that bigger bigger lady. Um, I don't know anyone. Uh, I don't know if that's something that you'd be comfortable doing, but uh, it's potentially an option. I just try to, I have to figure out like how to how to like run into these folks. Like that's, yeah, that's part of, I mean, like if they just happen to come in the pickaxe, like easy day. Right. But, right. but other than that, like, um, yeah, how often are they getting, you know, I don't know what their, their sort of movements have been like. In town. Yeah. Then that's, I mean, that's going to, you know, lose some lips and sink ships and whatever. So like, that would be great, but um, I don't think it's going to be that easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. So well, and especially um, you know, folks with their religious bent tend to be less, likely to imbibe right well, especially the the, the uh, jeb, protestant types yeah. uh, uh, jeb did make it sound like they were going to do some kind of event near the hardware store maybe you show, show up, up to that event. happen to be shopping at the hardware store mm -hmm. <laughs> every time it happens it makes sense okay. they don't really they don't have a connection you know they're not connecting you or jeb together right now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay all right Shit, that's not a bad idea. So, okay, all right. Um, uh, well, keep me posted about the event, and until then, I guess I'll try to like dig up, see if there's anything we can find out about their their background, and then once I can get an in with them, see if I can get any kind of information at all. Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine that event's going to happen with with honestly within the week because if they're only here two more weeks, they're going to want to you know gather some people and convince some people to come out to at least the last revival of the weekend. So I imagine yeah, they're go it's we're probably going to come just as fast as we assume they are. Right. So I'm assuming they're going <laughs> to come out, you know, in a couple of days, you know, scope out my hardware store and then we'll probably, you know, do the thing. I would imagine a few days after that Friday, Saturday, something like that. So mm -hmm. it's going to happen soon. I'd imagine. Mm -hmm. So, okay. will Beryl seduce the teenagers? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, don't, don't say that. Find out next game. Don't, don't find it out. <laughs> no. Hey, I'm Chris Hansen. Hey.